The science of our DNA is complex but fascinating. Our genes can determine the way we look, behave and even our susceptibility to disease. Our understanding of genetics is a rapidly advancing field and may hold the key to developing promising therapies for complex human disorders. Here we will introduce the basic biochemistry of DNA. DNA is a long molecule, a polymer, containing genetic information in the form of a four-letter alphabet, consisting of the letters C, G, A and T. The genetic code is read from just one strand of the DNA molecule. Sequences of these letters act as a set of instructions to signal different processes to take place. Genes are portions of DNA and many act as a set of instructions for a protein. As DNA contains a huge amount of information, a set of instructions for one protein is first copied into RNA, a smaller individual set of instructions. This can then be used to create the protein via other biological processes. Proteins make up every part of our body and serve many functions. They can provide structure by forming our bones and ligaments, can transport molecules around the body like haemoglobin, and some are used as chemical messengers or hormones like insulin. They are made up of smaller molecules known as amino acids. The basic chemical structure of an amino acid consists of an amine group, a carboxylic acid group and a chiral carbon atom which is attached to one hydrogen atom and an R group. Each type of amino acid has its own unique R substituent. One amino acid in a protein is encoded by a set of three letters in the genetic code. It is highly important that the information in our DNA is well maintained and repaired if damaged and many diseases can result if this is not the case. DNA can be imagined as an instruction book containing instructions to make objects out of Lego. Each page may inform you how to make a different object just as each gene can be used to make a specific protein. Just as the word blue would tell you to use a blue brick, a set of three letters in the genetic code, say G, C, A, would tell you to use the amino acid alanine in the protein being made. We will talk more about this later, but for now, let's look more closely at DNA itself. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it contains the genetic information which encodes for every protein in our body. This genetic information is made up of a sequence of bases cytosine, guanine, adenine and thymine given the abbreviations C, G, A and T respectively. The genetic codes of human beings are 99% similar to one another, which makes it quite incredible how diverse we all are. DNA molecules are long polymers made up of different nucleotides. A nucleotide comprises of a sugar molecule, called the deoxyribose, a phosphate molecule, and one of the four bases A, C, G or T. Several nucleotides form a nucleic acid. Nucleotides join together via a phosphodiester bond to form a sugar phosphate backbone. Two of these backbones join together via hydrogen bonds between bases to form the DNA double helix, the structure discovered by Watson and Crick in 1953. This hydrogen bonding between bases is known as complementary base pairing, where C pairs with G and A pairs with T. 
This allows a single strand of DNA to act as a template for a new strand, which is important for DNA replication that occurs every time a cell divides. When DNA is replicated, the newly formed genetic information may contain two copies of the parent strand or two new strands, one parent strand and one new strand, or strands which contain a mixture of both the parent DNA and new DNA. This is called semi-conservative, conservative and dispersive replication respectively. A DNA molecule has two distinct ends. The 5' prime end is characterised by a phosphate group and the 3' prime end is distinguished by a hydroxyl group. The genetic information in DNA is always read in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The genetic information in a DNA molecule is used to encode proteins and sometimes RNA alone. In order to create these proteins, DNA is first transcribed into RNA, sometimes referred to as the genetic blueprint, and then the RNA is translated into a protein. This is the central dogma of molecular biology. Every time a cell divides, its DNA is also replicated so it can be used to make proteins for the new cell. It seems unbelievable that a set of just four letters can encode every protein in our body, but this is indeed the case. Proteins are made of a long string of amino acids joined together. Portions of DNA for a protein are first copied into RNA, specifically messenger RNA or mRNA, in a process known as transcription. The sequence of bases in the transcribed mRNA is complementary to that of the DNA, with the base uracil, abbreviated to U, replacing each thymine. Therefore, a cytosine in the DNA sequence will be transcribed into a guanine in the corresponding RNA. Remember that cytosine always pairs with guanine and uracil pairs with adenine due to complementary base pairing. A set of three bases encodes for one amino acid and so the genetic information is read in sets of three letters at a time to select the particular amino acid to add to a growing protein. A set of three amino acids is known as a codon. The genetic code instructs which codons code for which amino acids. Using the table we can see that the codon A, C, G will encode for the amino acid threonine. Stop codons are used to signal the end of protein translation.